RGS Roads and Highways provides flexibility to configure an LRS to meet your needs or the needs of an organization. To take advantage of this flexibility, it is important to first understand three key LRS concepts. These include multiple linear referencing methods, event behaviors, and time awareness. Let us begin by learning about what a linear referencing method, or an LRM, is and how you can take advantage of using multiple LRMs in your LRS. Center lines are the foundation of any LRS. Centerline features have unique centerline IDs, and each centerline has shape and geometry that can be applied to one or more routes. A network is a collection of routes measured to a specific LRM. The LRM defines measurements along routes within a network. Like centerlines, each route in a network has a unique route ID. Two calibration points define the measure for a specific location on a route. The measures between two calibration points are derived by linear interpolation. Routes store measure values on their vertices to model linear distance. You can use these measures to determine where events are located along a route. Access control, functional classification, and pavement type are all common examples of an event. Transportation organizations manage and maintain a broad spectrum of linear referencing data that describes their roadways. Internal groups within these organizations have differing data needs and may not even reference data to a common LRM. For example, a traffic engineer within the safety group may use linear locations along a route that are relative to the project's starting point to identify where the place traffic control devices before a construction project begins. Other internal groups, like planning and reporting, may benefit from using an LRM that depicts routes subdivided by county. In this example, a road that intersects two counties is represented by two different routes in the network with the route's start and end measures reset at county boundaries. RGS Roads and Highways is a multi-LRM LRS. The information model simplifies the management of multiple measurement systems. A single LRS can contain multiple networks, and each network can have a different LRM. The unit of measurement origin measure value, and pattern of incrementing may vary among those LRMs. The many-to-many -many relationship exists between the routes in a network and center lines providing the geometry. This means that routes can be composed of multiple centerline features, and centerline features can participate in multiple routes in multiple networks. Event data can also be collected and stored for each network in your LRS. RGS roads and highways can even translate event measures between multiple LRS networks. Another important LRS concept is event behaviors. Inevitably, you will need to edit routes to reflect real-world changes to the roadways. In ArcGIS Pro, you can use tools to perform necessary edits in order to maintain the accuracy of your LRS. You may need to create a new route to reflect new construction. Retire a route when an old road is decommissioned or realign a route to address an environmental concern. Route edits have a direct impact on how events are located along a route and how they are rendered on a map. How an event reacts to these types of route edits is called event behavior. Event behavior rules are applied to an individual event layer to define how event measures and shapes are updated for each type of route edit. When configuring event behaviors, consider if you want the event to react by preserving its geographic location, by preserving its measure values,
or by maintaining a reference location. RGS Roads and Highways not only allows you to efficiently manage the where of your data, it also allows you to manage the when of your data. You can view and analyze how routes, events, and intersections change over time. To support this functionality, all linear reference data is time aware. For example, if Route 1 is realigned effective October 1st, 2021, a second record is created. The new route feature has the same route ID, but a different shape calibration duration to reflect the realignment. The from date for the new feature and the to date for the original feature are both updated to October 1st, 2021. This process is called time slicing. After a route edit, you must apply event behaviors. This will ensure that events located on the edited route are updated per your event behavior rules and reflect the same time changes applied to the edited route. Now that you are familiar with the key LRS concepts and better understand how ArcGIS Roads and Highways efficiently and accurately manages your roads and assets, you are ready to begin learning about the LRS configuration work.